Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today Hey everyone, Tani here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Earth Girls Are Easy. This is a donation reward for my friend Elliot, uh, and surprise, surprise, Elliot is here. Say hi. Hi! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is something different for the channel. I'm actually having the donator react with me. It was their choice. Uh, this is a movie I have not really heard anything of. Um, it, Not a whole lot of people have, honestly, and that is that is almost a crime. <laughs> it, it's from the '80s, and I guess it's science fiction. That's all I really know about it. Um, but I usually like to go into things as blind as possible. It just makes the reaction feel more genuine, in my opinion. So I'm fine with not knowing anything, I guess. <laughs> Well, buckle up, because this is this is one of the weirdest movies out there, and it's it's a whole lot of fun because of it. Well, weird can be good. Weird, weird can definitely be good. Yeah, and... wait until you see who's actually in it. <laughs> oh, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, we are gonna be recording this off of YouTube just for sake of ease. Um, as always, it is redirected. Uh, link is down in the description for both BitChute and Google Photos. Uh, you can find the reaction there. Um, and, and yeah, it's the screen is going to look the same as always, but Elliot will be here on a uh, call with me from Discord, and we're going to react together. Now, uh, you've obviously seen this before. Um, Many times. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so this isn't uh, this isn't blind at all for you, but yeah, it's it's going to be interesting just seeing that kind of how it goes because it's it's almost like you're reacting to me reacting to it in a way, kind of. <laughs> and I've seen other reactors do similar things. Like there's uh, different reactors like Blind Wave and uh, the Normies who are like these big groups of reactors. And it's like sometimes they'll react to something where some of them have seen it, but others have not. I remember seeing, like, I haven't watched it myself, but there's one particular video that's like, hey, I watched my, I made my squeamish, squeamish friend watch the uh, Final Destination movies. Yes, yes, um, I've seen, I think I might have seen that one, or I've seen at least yeah, one Yeah, apologies like if I kind of stammer a bit, I'm not the best for my words sometimes. No, no, <laughs> it's, it's fine, I mess up my words plenty. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like, I, I've seen plenty of things like that too, where it's like, there's a, there's one channel I cannot think of the name right now, but it's like these two, uh, I think they're roommates and they uh, watch a bunch of horror movies and whatnot um, together. And a lot of times it's like, oh, one of them has seen it and the other hasn't. Um, so yeah, it's, it, I, I've seen plenty of reactions like that. So it's kind of similar to that. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, don't really know anything about this film going in. Um, and it's not like it's anywhere near the oldest film I've ever seen. <laughs> um, I, I don't even know if it's the oldest film I've reacted to on the channel. But it's like, I think the oldest movie I've actively watched might be 12 Angry Men. I'm not 100% if I've seen older. I think I have. In fact, I'm sure I have, mm. but I, I just can't think of any specifics. I think I've heard of 12 Angry Men, like, um, I used to have a parental figure who had this massive, um, ma massive, uh, what's the, library, that's the thing, massive library of all kinds of films that right. he'd downloaded, and 12 Angry Men was one of them, but I just never really had interest. Mm. Yeah, 12 Angry Men, it, it's basically just a courtroom drama, but it all takes place in the jury room when they're deliberating. I see. It, it, it's Ooh. one set pretty much the entire time, but it's, in my opinion, the only perfect film. It's just so perfectly shot, acted, written. It's also based off of a teleplay, um, which Ooh, is actually is. how I first discovered it. 
it is actually kind of interesting to think of, honestly. Like, normally when you've got courtroom drama, it's exclusively in the courtroom itself. So seeing the drama right. between the jurors instead is... Yeah, it, it, def it takes place more in, uh, with the jurors and deliberating on the case and everything. Uh, we don't actually get to see any of the lawyers arguing or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we are going to get going on this uh, film. So that was like a hell of a tangent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that can happen a lot um, on this channel. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're going to get started Fun. on this. So, uh, as always, we are going to, like I said, redirect it to BitChute and Google Photos. Um, and you can go watch it there, and then we'll come back for the... Uh, Afterthoughts. So, when the screen fades to black, pause this to redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the movie. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you at the reaction. Oh, you were at quiet there. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. You can hear me? Yep. We're a little quiet for a minute, but then I heard you just fine. Okay, and we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in three, two, one, now. So that was Earth Girls Are Easy, and I think the best way to describe my thoughts on it actually can go back to my reaction to the Grand Budapest Hotel. Uh, when I reacted to that, I mentioned that the Grand Budapest Hotel is... Oh, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Was that? I just you, you just kind of like blanked out for a minute then. I couldn't hear what you were saying. <laughs> oh, probably just connection issues. Yeah, probably. Uh, but when I when yeah. I reacted to the Grand Budapest Hotel, um, I, I mentioned that it was kind of just ridiculous, dumb fun, and that's kind of how mm -hmm. I view this film too. It, it's super, I know, and it's great because of it. it it's just really dumb. It's so dumb. Uh -huh. And some of the jokes, admittedly, are outdated for multiple reasons. Yeah. There's some things that could be seen as offensive, even. But... Very much you, a product of its time. Yeah, it, it definitely a product of the time of the 80s. Um, but, but if you can get past all of that and you just view it for the ridiculous nature of it, it's, it's fun. It's enjoyable, it's stupid, it's entertaining. The actors are the perfect actors for the roles. Um, Gina yep. Davis plays her role really well. Uh, and again, like I said during the reaction, she just feels right for this kind of movie. Just mm -hmm. based on the other stuff she's done. Um, Jeff Goldblum was uh, a good choice to play kind of still goofy, but the more grounded of the three aliens. Mm-hmm. Um, Especially compared to uh, Jim Carrey and Marlon Wayans, who are known for being super goofy and I animated. It was Damon Wayans. Or Damon Wayans, sorry. Wrong Wayans, brother. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like they're, they're, they tend to be more animated in general, so they, they were definitely the right choices to play more characters who were goofier and more ridiculous and out of control. Mm hmm. Um, the acting outside of that, like, just for, like, the general people we saw and whatnot was fine. I mean, I have no issue with any of it, but I wouldn't say most of the characters, like, really stood out that much. Um, I, I guess... I think that's kind of partly the point, like, they're not supposed to detract too much. Except sure. for Candy, maybe, because I, I, I love wow. Candy. She's one of my favorite supporting characters in anything ever. C Candy was just really horny <laughs> the entire time. Um, yep, put him in horny jail. Bonk. <laughs> uh, the actor who played Ted really did well at kind of portraying that douchebag type of character. Definitely. Um, and I've seen his kind of character in many different things who just doesn't see the issue with what he's doing. Like, mm -hmm. even after, like, multiple breakups with uh, Gina Davis's character, he still 
by the end is talking about just because I'm getting married doesn't mean you can't still be my girlfriend. And it's like, what the fuck is wrong it's with like, you, dude? Yeah. <laughs> um, there were some musical numbers in this, but it didn't feel like a, it was meant to be a musical per se. Um, it, it just like there was just a few random musical numbers, and, and it, it which is kind of very eighties as far as I'm aware. Yeah, it, it didn't it feel like it took been... away from the film at all. It just felt really random because it was just only a couple scenes. I, I mean, I guess uh, going back to the Beetlejuice because Gina Davis, there are a couple scenes in Beetlejuice that have random music. So I, I guess it's you could kind of. Oh say yeah! Don't get me started on the dinner party scene. <laughs> <laughs> um, the effects were bad, but I think that was also part of the point. Like, mm -hmm. like this is clear. I mean, obviously Very it's a comedy. B movie ish. Yeah, it's yeah. obviously a comedy. Obviously B movie. Obviously meant to be very goofy and almost satirical in nature. Yep. So it, it definitely it, it definitely felt it's a like while the, it's ridiculous. Yeah, because because I've seen movies from the eighties that had better uh, effects than that. So mm -hmm. it it definitely feels like it, it was probably intentional. Yeah. Uh, there is also that one dream sequence, which was just what? Yeah, that was this is trippy that was as fuck. Some... Uh huh. Just. I feel like that was like, okay, the rest of this movie is actually a surprisingly grounded, so let's just get everything weird out of the way in one scene. Yeah, pretty it's, much. <laughs> I, I mean, there was definitely some weird stuff throughout the rest of the movie, but for the most part, it wasn't as actually weird as you would think. It, it was mostly the characters who were weird, and everything around them was fairly normal, I guess. Normal-ish. It's kind of like that whole, you've got the whole grid of uh, normal characters in normal situations, normal characters in weird situations, or weird characters in normal situations when you've got weird characters in weird situations. And it's like... Right. Those are, those are like the four squares on the grid, and this was kind of like the weird and somewhat normal, but it's weird because they're there. Like, they yeah. make it weird. Right. And, and like... Obviously, it kind of played with a few different, like, tropes that you see within movies, like fish out of water and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think it did any of them exceptionally well, but I think it did what it wanted to do. And that was, yeah. again, to make a movie that is just pure dumb fun. Mm -hmm. um, because, like, you, you can't even say, like, there's any real chemistry between Gina Davis's character and Jeff Goldblum. But it, it, it's not really about that. It's not meant to be taken as a serious relationship. None of it's meant to be taken seriously. It, it's meant to be just seen as kind of a comedy, a gag, in a way. Mm. Um, and I can be okay with that. It, it, it wasn't really, again, it wasn't really what I'd call amazing, but it did its job. It was funny, it was entertaining, it was stupid, but in a good way. <laughs> yeah! Um, definitely, again, like I said in the pre-thoughts, I never really heard of this film prior to you <laughs> suggesting it. So it's like, I probably would have never even thought about checking this out because of that. <laughs> um, plus, admittedly, I just don't check out a lot of older movies it, it, uh, like on average I've seen plenty of older movies but just in general nowadays I haven't like actively searched them out yeah I understand that I mean this is just one of those things where my mum had some really interesting tastes at certain points like she grew up during the 80s and everything right and so you've got like you, you know because she was born like a uh, kind of mid to late 70s so she grew okay. up with all of this kind of weird stuff and so she actually went out and searched some of it out like you know animal olympics you've ever heard of that movie i think i've heard of it okay well i would totally recommend that at some point but that's what 
that kind of movie is one of the things that I grew up with as, as a kid because it's one of the things that she loved or that she that she saw out and it's it, it's that kind of stuff that helped inform my own personal tastes and my own personal tastes are kind of weird <laughs> <laughs> right uh, is, is that an animated movie oh and Olympics yeah yeah did Saber it's Spark do a video on it like Yes, he did. He did, actually. Okay, and that's when I he did, wrong, I yeah. was so excited. I actually sent him an email saying, hey, <laughs> this is one of my favorite movies from when I was growing up, so it means a lot to me that you're actually reviewing it. <laughs> and I actually got a response, and it was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I met Saber Spark at a brony convention uh, years back. Ah, uh, dude. I, I, I wish I could meet him IRL. Too bad we're not even on the same landmass. <laughs> wow, right. <laughs> I think he's been to uh, conventions in Europe, though. Yeah, I guess I, I, I guess I'll have to see if he comes to something like over this side of the pond. Right. What once things are safe to do so again? What, yeah, what, obviously. Once conventions start back up and everything. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So, anyways, this movie was definitely a lot different from most other things I've reacted to on this channel. Um, but but it was kind of a welcome change of pace, I could say. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I had fun. I didn't take it too seriously. And again, I that's kind of the point, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thank you You're for- You're supposed to have fun with it. Yeah, so thank you for donating and for suggesting this and even choosing to uh, react to it with me. It is definitely Yeah, I some... mean... What's that? Sorry, you were saying? Uh, I was saying it's definitely something uh, different for this channel. Yeah. yeah. I, just, I just figured it sounded, it sounded like a fun time. So, you know, yeah. why not watch one of my favorite movies with one of my, uh, well, at the minute, online best friends? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, everyone uh, watching, let us know uh, what you thought in the comments. And thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you've seen this movie before, just... Tell me your thoughts on it, maybe your history with it. If you are seeing it for the first time, what did you think about it uh, from a first viewing experience? Uh, and anyways, thank you once again, uh, Elliot, for choosing this and for donating and everything. And for all- No those, problem. Yep, and for all those who wish to donate in the future, uh, just contact me in the comments or on social media or whatnot. Uh, and we can figure it out. We can get it done. And you can choose any movie, any series, any YouTube video, whatever you want. Um, and any donation, no matter what size, will get you a reaction. And every donation is a separate reward. So, yeah. In the meantime, thank you once again for tuning in. And for now, uh, I'm Connie, and this was Elliot. Bye! And and we're signing off. See y'all next time.